This is Don W6GPS and today we're going to give a short demonstration, hopefully without any errors, with the AVMAP G6 APRS Bionix Tiny Track uh, TNC. And the radio that I like to use with the uh, Bionix Tiny Track is the Kenwood V71. Yeah, anytime when I get something new, I always uh, make it a point to come to Gordo's Junko Shack. Oh, 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 oh that hurt. Oh, oh, Gordon, come on. Man, I'm telling you. Uh, if the OSHA, the uh, uh, the health inspector, were to come by here, he'd condemn the place. There's more electrons and <laughs> cat hair and antiques. There's more antiques. I mean, I ain't seen one of those things in as long as I can live. And and don't you just love Gordo's custom lighting? But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some basic setup on how to uh, program a uh, Bionix Tiny Track 4, and we're gonna be using it with the uh, AvMap G6 and the Kenwood V71. So we're going to do a little close-up, little hand work, model work, although these are not model hands. <laughs> okay, so here is a Tiny Trek uh, 4. And you're going to need one of those, and you order that from Bionics.com. He's got all the cables you're going to need. Speaking of cables, they're pre-made cables that plugs into the uh, Tiny Track. You can either get them with uh, cigarette lighter plugs or with Anderson plugs. Now the one that I've gotten is the uh, mini DIN uh, plug for the data port on the V71. So the other thing that you're going to need is uh, what they call a null cable, null modem cable. Cable? Did I say cable? What did I say? I don't know, but you muttered that oh, word. Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, but it's a programming cable, and what it does is it goes on the end of the uh, tiny track right here. Make sure you. You can't mess up because it's male and female ends. So you plug it in there just like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to program the uh, tiny track first with the software. And all this you can get at the Bionics uh, website, www.bionics.com. All right, I've kind of jumped to the computer. Yeah, you're going to have to know about computers. Wait a minute. Do you mean we have to do this ourselves? Can okay. Can you get someone to help? Oh no, this is real easy. But the but the one thing that people get confused about is uh, the COM port. Okay. So what we've done is I've, I've jumped to my uh, device manager page, and um, in there where it says ports, I open up ports, and I'm taking my um, wherever I left it. See, it got buried in the Gordo shack. I know it got shack. difficult, folks. There it is. There it is. So I got my uh, prolific. Uh, uh, serial to USB. Let's just plug that in here. And we notice right here it says um, serial, USB to serial COM port number one. Okay, you want to remember that. All right, now then we're going to jump to the programming software. So basically, um, the, con um, the alpha configuration, there's just a few things, basic things that you want to program to. Uh, get the tiny track running. So first is the call sign. So I'll put my call sign in there. Uh, I like using smart beaconing, so you check smart beaconing. And then up here on the ports, ports tab, we're gonna click over to ports, and we need to switch these both to GPS and 9600. This is just for, for the configuration I'm using. We go to the GPS page. Now this is real important. Because the AvMap is using a Kenwood sentence, we want to switch this from NEMA to Kenwood. Because a Kenwood sentence triggers all the hundreds of icons. If you have it set to NEMA, it's only going to be two icons on the AvMap. Wavepoint length is, is uh, nine. Uh, I like send, send wavepoint for self. It's already checked. But that way, as, as you're uh, beaconing down the road, you can actually see your, your call sign on the AV map uh, just to verify that uh, you are outputting to the uh, uh, AV map. Now, this one is where, where it's real important to turn on because this allows a messaging interface. You know, Bob Berninga, has, uh, he's instituted a, a uh, texting and messaging uh, initiative with APRS. Uh, APRS is just not position reporting but it's, it's uh, status. So by uh, turning on the uh, PAVP mode, uh, AvMap and Bionics have worked to develop their software so we have an easy uh, messaging interface. 
and then um, basically that's about it. So then when you get ready to, you got to get ready to program it, you have to take and uh, stand by just a second. We've got the, we've got the tiny track hooked up to the programming cable. Uh, we've powered it up and what we need to do is, is we need to go over here to write configuration. When we write configuration, it says open COM port 1. Remember how important that was? I, I told you to remember the COM port? You told me that. All right, so you uh, uh, make sure the COM port matches your, uh, your um, uh, COM port on the tiny track. Now then, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, remove the power. This uh, tells the tiny track to go ahead and uh, read and write the configuration. So as I plug it in, you'll see that the files is being transferred uh, into the uh, tiny track. Okay, now that we've got the tiny track 4 programmed, uh, we're going to take a uh, interface cable. This is a, a DB9 uh, female to a special uh, four pole uh, AVMAP plugs. And AVMAP sells this on their website, this cable. So once it's connected, you have it all connected. Okay, the lights here are very important on a tiny track. It gives you some status. Uh, the blue is a power light. Uh, the amber is a carrier detect. This shows uh, APRS packets decoding. The green is a uh, GPS a valid signal. And the red and I want to trigger a, a, a forced uh, beacon by removing the power. The red is actually the uh, transmit. So now it's transmitted. So we can take here, we can zoom in, and you can see the different types of beacons. And uh, what you can do with the uh, radio that's real simple is just default the radio, default the radio, and the uh, data band will be on the B side and just change the frequency uh, to uh, 144.39, not 146.52 or 146.58. You know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. Okay. Any simplex frequency, I'm sure 5.2 and 5.8, they would not want to hear APRS squawks. No, so make sure it's 144.39. <laughs> and for you people in Europe, it's 144.80. And there's other frequencies, but find the APRS frequency for your country. So that's how it's uh, basically hooked up. But the main thing that we want to talk about with the uh, Tiny Track 4 and the AVMAP is the messaging. So let me get to the uh, messaging menu right here. Go to uh, APRS, messages. Uh, you could create a new message here. And uh, I'm going to say hello. He's a very slow typist. Yeah, I know. Don't do this while you're driving. Hello, but, Carl. Yes, uh, don't do it while driving. And uh, as we get ready for Dayton, uh, uh, Don is uh, simultaneously packing at the same time. Uh, yeah. Change, uh, change there. You can put the, uh, the call sign in. Okay, what I've done is I've, uh, I've forced a beacon uh, to an eye gate here in Southern California. It's real important to know that um, in order for a message to pass, um, we need to know where you're at. So uh, I've just sent a beacon, and I'm waiting for my friend uh, Carl uh, up in Cleveland, W8KRF, uh, uh, and I've asked him to send me a message. Okay, there you go. Uh, it says... Looking forward to Hamvention. See you there at 73. So I can hit read. And uh, one nice thing that the AVMAP has, and I hope you can hear this, is you can actually have it read to you. So I can get, hit reply. I'll just say good one because I'm such a speedy typer. Hit the send button and we'll send a reply back to him now so I've sent a message to Carl and I can go back in here into my uh, 
message uh, menus. I can see uh, messages received, messages sent, and outgoing messages. And so uh, the system will keep sending a message uh, several times until uh, the station receives the uh, message and I get an acknowledgement. And uh, that's, that's about it. It's a very basic uh, setup and a very basic demonstration on the uh, Bionics Tiny Track uh, 4 and the AvMap uh, G6 APRS.